So today I'm talking about a P0336 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0336 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position sensor, a circuit range performance. And what does this mean? Well, the computer uses different sensors to monitor the timing of the engine. It uses the camshaft position sensor, and it also uses a crankshaft position sensor. And the crankshaft position sensor is going to be located down around the crank somewhere towards the bottom of the engine. And it's basically just monitoring that crank as it spins. Every single time a piece of metal is directly in front of that sensor, it's going to send a signal back to the computer, which the computer uses to track the timing. And when you get a P0336 code, and the computer's seeing that this is off, that there's something wrong here, and so it's going to have to be troubleshooting no why. The location of the sensor is going to vary. It's going to depend on the engine, the year, the make, different things like this. It'll be located around the crank somewhere, but it is a good idea to get a diagram where all the sensors are located on your particular engine. It's just going to make it easier. That way you know where everything's at. You know which one to go and check. For example, here's a 2012 Ford Mustang with a 3.7 liter. And the crankshaft position sensor is going to be located right up and over here. And so it can be a good idea to get a diagram where all the sensors are located. And another thing about these sensors is that sometimes, depending on the vehicle, there can be what's called a relearn procedure, where basically after you replace it, the computer has to go through this relearn procedure for the engine to run good. Not all vehicles have this. Sometimes you could just replace it and they'll start up and run. Sometimes the relearn procedure is, is as simple as just driving the vehicle around and the computer will automatically relearn. If you have a really good OBD2 scan tool, sometimes they have an option in there for you to be able to tell the computer to relearn so it could vary a little bit but if you do replace that crankshaft position sensor and the engine doesn't run good it's a good idea to do a little research on your particular engine and just find out if there is a crankshaft position sensor relearn procedure and so what are some possible causes of a p0336 code well the first thing that could cause is that that sensor has just gone bad it just needs to be replaced you can test it if you want to there's some different ways to go about doing that there's some good youtube videos on that but the first thing that could cause this is a bad crankshaft position sensor the next thing that could cause this is that the wiring going to the sensor has some kind of problem with it, it has an open short there's like a bad connection something along these lines so you can't check the wiring to be sure that it's good there could be two wire sensors and there could be three wire sensors and some newer vehicles even have four wire sensors three wire sensors are pretty common and basically what's going on with these is that when you turn the key to the on position you're going to get voltage to it which is usually like five volts and then you're also going to have a ground wire and then you're going to have a signal wire that's going back to the computer that every time there's a piece of metal directly in front of that sensor is sending a signal back to the onboard computer again be sure to get a diagram or schematics for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on but the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring problem going on another thing that could cause this on some vehicles is a blown fuse sometimes it's kind of vague which fuse it's on or which fuse it is or things like this quite often it's combined with other things for example here's a 2012 kia optima and there's a crankshaft position sensor but it's also combined with all these other things so if you have other components that are also failing like the purge valve or just other components that don't seem related but there's some kind of issue that other things aren't working also then it could be a fuse like i said sometimes it's kind of vague on which fuse it is so you might have to do some research to find out what's going on with your particular vehicle but keep in mind these can't be on a fuse and the last thing on the list is going to be that the engine timing is off and basically if there's a timing belt or timing chain and it skips a notch or if it becomes very old and stretched out and when the engine's working it's just throwing everything off for example if this belt was loose then it could just throw things off and it would cause issues with these sensors it would be the same thing for this belt tensioner if that belt tensioner wasn't holding things tight then everything could get thrown off or something along these lines but the last thing on the list is going to be that the engine timing is off and so that's basically it i just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the p0336 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day